Hello everybody. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for watching. This is Kevin, the Canadian Hillbilly, and well, we're in the basement of Hillbilly headquarters here, and we're going to run some dirt through the little mini sluice here, through the recirculating high banker. Now, I am thinking what I should be doing, maybe the, the bucket of Halloween goodness that we packed out. Because that video has gotten the most views on my channel out of all the longer videos I've done. So, I'm kind of curious to see what's in this bucket of dirt down here. And, uh, I'm just going to fire it up and run it. First thing i got to do here is uh, I'm going to have to take out my tailings bucket and put it into my bin here. So that way I have room for tailings from this guy. So, yeah, that's, that's the first step. I'm going to pull that bucket out of there and take care of that. Maybe I'll just move a few little things here and there and set this up to there and straighten it out to there. Uh, not looking too bad. Put the old handy dandy stick in. Stick it off to the side. I should have zigged, I guess. Oh boy. There we go. Let's put that tin bucket back in there and put my little support bar in there. Find an easy way to fill this back up. Now, uh, this water, I uh, put bleach and uh, a little bit of dish soap in there. Um, it smells like a swimming pool. Um, there's enough soap in there that I'm getting a little bit of foam in my fine tailings. That's good. I don't have to worry about my fine gold floating off and taking off on a guy. So, we're just going to let this sucker fill up. And then I'm going to adjust my flow rate. And then we're going to take off. I'm going to do that. I'm going to just turn this up and fill it up fast. Didn't settle out. Didn't where it's supposed to be. Perfect. Let's clean up the sidewalls. Some excess water here. Make my little mine site nice and tight. Alrighty, I believe we got our overflow established. So, oh yeah. Now I just turn down my flow rate till I barely get any water coming out of this hole here. There's two holes in the bin. This one's obviously a little bit lower than this one. And the logic behind that was to regulate flow rate. See how much water's coming out of here? That's how I know how to adjust my valve opening on my recirculating sluice. That way I don't have an excessive flow rate of water coming down here. Blowing out the gold. It feels nice and good in there. Pumps down there in a separate bin. And this is just to let the clay settle out and that's to catch all the coarser 
bigger stuff. There's a filter on the inlet of the pump as well. That way uh, my moving parts in there last a little bit longer. You guys watched my videos before, you're aware of my magnets I have underneath this little guy to catch uh, the black sand, which then go into here, and then that gets dried out, and then uh, that gets magnetically separated, and whatever gold is captured in the black sands I keep. So, yeah, we're all set up. We've got a good flow rate. we got, obviously, soap in our water. It's time to move a bucket or two around and start feeding this little fella. I'm put this little guy here while I jump up some buckets. Probably got lights in the way, you won't be able to see it done, what do you think? I'm just moving uh, the bucket of material that I'm going to be using, getting it up close to the sluice run, that way if there's any spillage, I don't have to worry about it. Another thing I noticed about this material is it's bone dry, so we're going to rehydrate it. That way we don't have to worry about throwing these bugger it off. So I'm going to put a bunch of water into it. Probably gonna be about four or five of these jugs just to just to get her there. Oh. Get a nice little layer of water on top of this. See all the air bubbles coming up and floating and such. The reason why I'm uh, getting my bay dirt wet here is because uh, gold is hydrophobic. That's why you end up finding float, uh, float gold, because it's uh, sitting on top of the water. And that's the reason why we use soap in our sluice room. And I'm still pouring water into this, and I'm still seeing air coming out of it, and I'm seeing all the water disappear. I'm just going to keep on pouring until I have an actual layer of water on top of the soil here. Which hopefully shouldn't be too much water. Out of there now. Actually, I'm gonna call it that. I'll let you guys have a look inside this bucket here. See the bubbles coming out of there. There we go. So now that's that's good and wet now, I tell you. All the way through and through. I probably need to put too much water in there, but. I just don't have to worry about my goals floating away. Oh, well, trying to do some scoops and see what she looks like in the sluice run. Uh, you got a nice little working angle there. Yeah, a little bit of water here. So this dirt was brought in on October 31st, Halloween. From the video from the Halloween, whether that was going to be a trick or treat or not. So far, I've seen no treats. Oh, hey, there's a treat. I see a treat. Nice. So as I uh, see the visible gold, I like to remove it out of the spoon trying to snuck it out. Catch it right off the get-go and don't lose the stuff. I imagine the hum from that pump's probably killing my audio. <laughs> Yeah. 
it out with the dirt spray. <laughs> That's a good sign. <laughs> Maybe we should put the dark things on. Oh, oh no, there's people on here. Bop, bop, bop. Yeah, a little bit of water in there. Oh, there, guys. Dirt going down the flute. Makes the miner happy. Just the sound of it. Mm hmm. Pretty darn relaxing, to be honest. Alright, you can see that uh, magnetite's doing his job quite well. Oh, there's a lot of uh, stuff from our fire in this. There's a lot of ash. <laughs> a lot of pine needles. I was expecting high organics in this. <laughs> there we go. There. Got a little good chunk of dirt. Well, the sluice trying to clean itself out a bit. I'm going to go after some of these black sands here. Get you guys away from this humming pump. It's probably just destroyed my audio. crazy with the snuff bottle and see what there is in the sluice run down to this set of magnets. So I'm just going to hit the brakes on this and keep on working until I get this bucket near empty and that snuffer full. And then we're going to throw it in a pan and see what she looks like. So where your magnetite shows up, that's where your heavies are dropping out, right? Pay attention to this here. That little section of the solution grab a lot of black sand. Magnus just packing her in there, building her up. Makes like a an additional ripple. Holds that material back in there. Eventually it almost makes a dam and the bolt has to climb up and over top of it. It doesn't really work that way. Most of the gold just stays in my top third of the sluice run. Works out pretty darn good. Right. 
them out a bit. And there's a nice chunk of shiny. Watch that fella. Here, here, coming on. Another one there. Everything underneath of it has water, which dropping, which is too bad. So I'm gonna keep on rolling through here, pulling these magnets out, going back and forth with my snuffer bottle. I run it along one side, then I run it along the other side. The idea is that the heavies go back and forth in the bottom of the riffle and the sluice run, the lights flow off. Basically the same principle as gold panning. And uh, you just end up with the heavies in the very, very bottom of the sluice run and hopefully all your gold. And uh, so yeah, it all stands up on edge. Gold gets trapped in there. And then I scoop everything out, put it right in on the old bin here. So whatever I, I see, I, I put the snuffer, and whatever I don't see, it goes into the magnetite. Well, the bucket is empty and cleaned out. The loose run is emptied and cleaned out. Time to see what's in these here snuffer bottles and add it into what's left of the pan. See what is left in the pan. Pan that down. See what there is for dirt. Well, for gold, anyways. I know there's dirt. <laughs> well, the Nation River didn't disappoint yet again. Not a huge pile of gold, but. A little bit by a little bit, it adds up. And for a half a bucket, that's not bad. There's maybe ooh, a fifth of a gram there, maybe a tenth, somewhere in that range there. Not a huge pile, but it adds up, like I say. So, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this little clean out of uh, the Halloween adventure. Yeah, yeah, it was a treat, not a trick. So, again, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and you know, hit that little notification thing so that way next week when I do the video, you can come in and join the chat and say hello. Well, thanks for watching. See you next week. Bye.